Good evening, good afternoon, and good morning, depending where you are. Here we are back to Biafran Television Channel on News. This Biafran Television News, every day we always be resolute to whatever we are doing. In today's edition, we are very, very disappointed of how the zoo are involved in drugs abuse. A Zoom personnel officer, Abakari, again, has alleged of being collecting $35,000 every month from one Mrs. Onyinye as she was trapped to Enugu International Airport, Akane International Airport, Enugu, she was caught by the NDM, Nigerian Drug Law Enforcement Agency, Bodiseba Bakari, whom Nigeria is saying that they are investigating his case. Bisema Bakari, who is involved in kidnapping and killing the innocent, innocent citizens of Biafran land. While he is committing a crime that is against the law, against international law. I want the whole world to know this that Nigerian government, sponsored by the Fulanese, everything that is happening in that zoo, their hand is inside it. More especially the insecurity that is going on, their hand is on it, so that they can use it to tag on the indigenous people of Biafra and the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazen and the Kanu, but God of heaven, the God we have, the God of Tukokabiyama, has exposing them. For those that would never know, before the Kojo prison was break, 24 hours before the oppression, the Nigerian minister was removed from their post, their duty post, 24 hours before the oppression. The army general, the chief of army staffs, he withdraw all the army security that is in that Kojo prison. Meaning why? After 24 hours, the people, the terrorists that came to vandalize to break that place, came in and uh, subdue the, the prison warders because their their arm and the arm of the prison warders can never be the same. Military, uh, military is military. And the girls they used to come there is identified to be one of the girls of the Nigerian military. So can you tell us who is deceiving who? Who is deceiving who? You are holding Mazin and the Kano as a terrorist. Why are the main terrorists in Nigeria? You are the one terrorizing the country. Why this one is only asking for freedom. But you that are terrorizing the country are still holding captive. What a mess the Fulanese are doing in that country. And the whole world is keeping silent. The kind of uh, atrocity that has been going on in that zoo country called Nigeria. The kind of genocide that has been going on. Even Chastel of Liberia have never done half of it. Under it, under seven and a half years, Buare and his co-brothers have committed a lot of genocide in the zoo. Burning churches Burning mosque that belongs to the real Awosaman. 
Fulani don't want to know if you are a, a Muslim or what. What is after is to make sure as long as you are not his tribe, they will come after you. Because they are believing that Nigeria is their inheritance. According to their grandfather, Usman Danfodo. But one thing they, win, they don't fail to understand is this. There is no way I read the Jikonian war here. I don't know whether you understand that I read there, there was a one ant inside the bush. He can never take the land that does the land that belongs to someone. Anytime the owner of the land wants to his land, he will cut down every tree there and he put fire. All those ants were born. Whether they like it or not, they were born. Really, they can never call any more here. So, you Fulani, any day we are, we are ready, we are coming back to, because enough is enough. You have been bribing people that are heavier than you. People that has money more than you. You are bribing them, giving them money. Because you are, you are dragging something that does not belong to you. But oh, thank God, we are very, very alert this period to know your evil art. Now, we can see what is going on. The evil that men do always live with them. Always live with them. Many people are today saying that they want 2023 census. They want 2023 census. And I neck uh, they are busy re registering people. Now, my own works. I want people to misrule with overvote. Let them hold a referendum. Let them hold a referendum. Where are you belonging to? With the vote of Atiku and the Tunubu with the P2B, I am calling the whole world to conduct a referendum in this aspect. But we know the whole world can never concur to this idea because they know they are benefiting from the land of Biafra. They are benefiting from our resources. And they don't want anyone that can come out to remove the milk on their mouth. The milk that are sucking. They don't want anyone who will be against of removing that feeding bottle from their mouth. That is how we are seeing things. That is the reason why we are suffering a lot. Now, many governors are kicking over insecurity. While the president of Nigeria, the friend of the zoo, President Muhammad Buhari went to deliver a lecture on security in Liberia. <laughs> hey, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Wonder shall never end. Africans are being blind. Even the whole world are being blind. Somebody that in his own country is that insecurity is talk of the town. Is going to give a lecture on security. So what did he know about security? 
he could not self guide his own country. Even Abuja that is 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 staying as the head of state, he is there. The bandit, the terrorist came in and break the highest prison in Nigeria, Kojo prison, was broken by the terrorists. Now he's he's going to lecture on security. Is it not madness? I call it total madness. Because before you remove something from another person's eye, you must remove your own. There is no way a blind person can lead a blind person. All of them will fall into the pit. So Africa, you should be wise. So what did you see in Nigeria that motivated you to call President Muhammad Buhari to come and lecture you people on security? All you people are mockering, um, mockering at him. You know, somebody can be mocking at you because he knows how you are. He knows that you are a novice. He knows that you cannot do this. In a way to laugh on you, they can place you in the thing that you, is, you are passing through for you to come and defend. But the, the, the useless man who doesn't know his left and right just went to Liberia to teach about, to lecture about insecurity. Very useless human being. The same time, insecurity that they are calling in Nigeria, the Senate called for the impeachment of their president, President Muhammad Buhari, over insecurity. But the Senate president, being a, a brother to the president, he's a Muslim, he's a Fulani man. He has put in off her days for 21 days so that before that time, they will know how to manipulate the idea of impeachment. So, my people, what we want our people to be doing, those of you that is in Imo said, I want you people to make sure that you brought to book all those bargo or whatever they call themselves that Ropos and hired from the north. Those flooded terrorists, those henchmen, and those Boko Haram that are calling themselves repentant that come under the hidden of the Nigerian army and DSS that have been deployed to Imo State. I want people to fish them out and they make sure they face the last judgment. As we said before and now that we have declared this period oppression fight our enemy. So that oppression fight our enemy is still going on. For those of you that are thinking that we are playing in this channel, we are not playing. But rather, we are serious and whatever we said here, we must surely accomplish it. That is a guarantee. It's an assurance. So I urge you, so many of you up there, that are still doubting our possibility of fighting our enemy, but you, you are going to see it. You are going to experience it. You are going to witness it. We are not playing. Biafra Television News. We are not playing. Those men that killed at our 14 innocent citizens must surely come to book. Because of what they did, for the information of those that have never heard, the two guys, the two brothers that among those that was killed, 
their mother just passed away yesterday because of the shock of the ch their children because of the love of the children the woman passed away making each 15 people killed by a bubago a bag of kill 15 people because it is the death of those two sons that made the mother to die and the, their father is still all shocked and we never know how he can survive that but all we said a bag and hope was on them DSS will never go free on this I still repeat that we never go free. Hear me and hear me very well. They must surely pay his blood for blood. The autopilot said it before and we keep on saying it. That they must bring them to book. That we cut out, they did to our brothers. They will never go unpunished. My people, thank you, and God bless you. Here is Biafran Television Channel. We want you to subscribe to our YouTube, Biafran Television News. We are on Instagram. We are on Facebook. We are on YouTube. We are on Twitter. You can tweet us. Make sure our video is circulating. As the more you circulate our video, you subscribe. As a subscribe member, immediately we just upload any video. You will be the one to have it. I want to see you in my next video. Because our next video will be more, more, more. It will be here, here, here. Our next video is going to be super. Because we have a lot of things that we want to tell you. Thanks and God bless you.